Very bad. Hi, everyone. So, I've been working my butt off. Chucky's been helping me lug stuff out of here. Our friend Tina and, of course, Billy has been helping me clear out. And finally, I'm to where I can start sewing and working again. So, this is headed back into the sewing room. This is the last bedroom in the house. It's always been my sewing room, though. I want you to see my paparazzi. <laughs> I think I have a little bit of a problem. That's why I stopped buying. You can only have so much. Okay, so let's walk in. You saw Bear. There's Jackie Jack. There's my iron, and I have it hanging. There's um, just whatever. So you come in. There's one of my old singers. Yes, it works. No, I don't use it. My old bobbins. I have these utility shelves. Let's just go in. We'll do it like this. Okay, so we're in the room. There I have just some of the fold-up patterns. Most of them I gave to Billy, but I do have some left. So there I have a sewing basket and these galvanized lids for mason jars, glass lids. I'm going to make pin cushions out of these with um, charms. Here I have um, balls of yarn and underneath I have twine. There's all my rusty stars and rusty bells that I have extra. This is my, I have two sets of cords because I have two sewing machines. There's buttons, only some of my buttons, and there's just miscellaneous stuff. Here's a jar of buttons, one of my quilting rulers. Pads that I use. This is my regular always, always sewing box and my bobbins I always have. And then if you saw, I got Billy. You have to forgive me here. I have one hand. Let me just, sorry guys. I got Billy a set of these and I got myself a set. Mine has the plaid and doggies. Binding clips. In there I have some notebooks, uh, that's embroidery floss, an extension cord. This I found in that thing of buttons. Check this out, it's like a brooch. Isn't this neat? Don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. And then I found more key ring things. This I'm gonna put, I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang it up or what, but I'm gonna use it for this. Oh no, I'm not gonna, it's not the right one. Never mind. I have a different one. This is the wrong one. Forget I said that. But I do have a bunch of quilting rulers. Not that I quilt, but I do do squares. There I have some extra bags. One of my German Shepherd. It's actually a solar light. It has a light that hangs on it, but I took it off. It's my grandfather, my parents. Glue guns, glue sticks, out the zoop, Mod Podge, just miscellaneous stuff. Scotch guard, uh, spray, adhesive, things like that. Up there's markers glues all kinds of stuff and up there is the last of the ice yarn i got from esta that's a drawer with sewing feet and stuff i use regular the floss is just there because i didn't do whatever with it underneath i have storage space that's poly pellets and this is my shipping department which jackson is the foreman of sleeping on the job Okay, my, one of my sewing machines, the extender table for it, my art light. And as you can see, I got to do curtains yet. I have curtains, but don't like them. I'm going to make some. My bulletin board with some of the patterns I'll be using here shortly. My laptop, it's my grandfather and Ronnie McDowell. There's another German Shepherd, and that's just my extra crates and baskets. And back in there is all my um, polyfill and interfacing and batting in that tote. Okay, over here I have my tents cut out, my pet tents in the bottom one with Santa, and up top are my little charms and fat quarters. Back there, the tote behind the dog is all my Cardi yarn, already separated out into what I'm gonna do with Cardi's. This is some of my winter yarn. Down in there is just all my craft stuff in a tote. <coughs> And down bottom, we shrunk wrap some Bernat blanket, two big ones. This houses some extra yarn I'm going to be working with shortly. There's my other brother behind my beautiful Hannah. 
more containers for my cactuses and plants, more ice yarn and other non-ice yarn, some finished objects. There in the closet, I have my polyfill and my big tote. Back in the back is all my big dowel rods. There's paints and jars that I'm going to put buttons in. And that's just a bunch of threads and a big old mess back there. Up top, that whole big tub is stencils. And then I have floss and uh, fold over elastic and things. Up there's pumpkins ready to be painted. More elastic, some lace, and there's a bunch of yarn that I just put up there for now. Up there's all elastic in those two black. Uh, it's all that elastic you see sticking out. There's my bolts of fabric, and that is actually another thing for, see, Oliver found a home here. Well, while we're down here, there's a bunch of my extra yarn, and there's the rest of my good fabrics. Here is good fabrics, um, home spuns and such, home deck, picture of Wynn and I in a little shoe, more home deck, my better novelties, there's my ticking, rooster, etc., there's another thing for sewing machine mats, which is this whole bag. That's all for sewing machine mats. And that's just ticking and kind of my better fabrics as well. Then I have my, make sure I'm not, there's Bear Bear. Make sure I'm not stepping on a kitty cat. Then I have my dress form with the sweater I made on, which is not staying there. It's just there for the meantime until I put it away. And then here I have, um, in the back is all fat quarters and remnants that Wynn got me at Hobby Lobby. And then all in there is trim and piping and whatnot. I have Rick Rack out the zoopy. This here, stay bunny. That is one of the first Amis I made. I think I've come a long way. Oh, I don't know why them buttons are there. These buttons are over here. Let me move these buttons. Okay. That, all those trays are buttons. There's some more fold-over elastic. In there is pins, zippers, buttons. Underneath is ribbons. Up there's ribbons. There's my melter warmer thing. A bunch of melters, electric scissors, extra scissors. Uh, fold-over elastic. Or not fold over elastic. Bias tapes and rick racks. In that wooden thing is a bunch of um, zippers and stuff and Velcro. Down there is just extra tablets and stuff. Zippers out the zoop. In there is just um, miscellaneous things in that Americana basket. Down there is a bunch of elastic. Fold over elastic to be exact. More bobbins. More bobbins. And there you have it. Oh and up here. Bernat blanket and that is more of that piping and my nail light and behind it is my case with all my tips gel acrylic you know all that good stuff I too used to be a nail tech I think a lot of us were nail techs or hairdressers okay actually I was a completely licensed hairdresser in these totes right here those two totes are that's the last of the, the bottom one is the last of what I got from the lady at the yard sale that time. And then this is a lot of my good winter yarns. And then all in that is my muslin, my Ostenberg, and my canvas. And back here is a whole pack of canvas that didn't fit in the tote. See that? And I pretty well think that's it. And that's some yarns I'm going to be using right away. And now I will take you into the spare room, I guess. So yeah, just let's do another, after I killed myself in here. And I now have a completely functioning room. Some exciting, awesome things are going to be coming out of this sewing room. I'm not going to paint it or nothing. I don't care about that. I want to work. I've been busting my monkey so I could get stuff done. So I can start working and get everything out. Oh, and that's just a temporary mat till I get my mat made, which I haven't sewn anything. I haven't done anything but work a little bit on Becca's doggy and her Bella. And I have, um, bear, bear, mum, mum. 
and I have uh, made some hats. All right, so I'm going to pause, and I'm going to take y'all into what I did in the store. Okay, BRB. All right, this is the best I could do in here. All that is shoes. That's some extra makeup that I got clearanced. There's some kitchen stuff. Whips and a bunch of finished objects. Those are the whips in that at the end there. Up there is finished objects, whips, and just a lot, a lot, a lot of yarn. This one here houses my big impeccables, and the other ones are in my cabinet. Those are all the yarns in that wicker basket that I just pulled to make hats and stuff when I get Becca's Bella done. There's clothes I need to put away yet. That, I don't know why, but that's Shelly's stuff, and that's Shelly's box up there, and all my pillows. Uh, that shelf there, some craft stuff behind my pots or my brooms. And then, oh, shoot, my doilies, I didn't put them away. There's like um, drinks, dishes, teas. Up there's my protein bars, our Gatorades, and all my cold brew coffee. There's some finished critters. There's my extra dolly head. And then there's my blocking mats. Cleaner there, cleaner on this shelf. Still have a dirty Clorox bottle. I didn't clean. That's funny. Extra baskets. Another pillow. That tote is completely full of um, finished objects. That's just cleaner and stuff. I think I showed you this room before. I don't really care what this room looks like anymore. It's time to downgrade. There's more clothes I got to put away. But there you see all that I have besides what's in the living room between my sewing room and my living room. There you have it. Haka Louie. Oh, and that, this tote here, this is the beautiful hobium that Michelle sent me. Some of it, not even close to all of it. But this is them. Whoops, whoops. Okay, come on now, there we go. And then um, these are just, this I had. This is some of the ones I just got at Walmart clearanced out two bucks and then Billy got me a bunch of hygge I asked her to pick me up what she could find so this houses a lot of hygge she just I just got it today this she sent me and some other um that she sent me and then I have these these are in this here oh my Victoria's Secret bags geez Louise which, again, are more of my winter. Oh, and there's more melts. I have three or four of each of those colors of the Copenhagen. So, yeah. Now at least I'm organized and know exactly where everything's at. And I can get this show on the road. So there you go, guys. Look for it all to start coming out. In the meantime, I'm going to finish Becca's Bella and... As things dwindle down, I'll be able to start doing more with this. But for now, this is where we're at. And that's just the way it is. All right, that's a mess. But my sewing room is beautiful. So, yay! All right, guys. I'll be back on before I upload this. So, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Ta-ta for now.